morning. Today is November the 5th, and Lily and I will be sharing uh, Jesus Calling. My name is Nick, and I look forward to sharing my testimony with you. And then I'll share a few scriptures with you. Today's devotion reads, You can live as close to me as you choose. I set up no barriers between us, neither do I tear down barriers that you erect. People tend to think their circumstances determine the quality of their lives, so they pour their energy into trying to control those situations. They feel happy when things are going well and sad or frustrated when things don't turn out as they'd hoped. They rarely question this correlation between their circumstances and feelings, yet it is possible to be content in any and every situation. Put more energy into trusting me and enjoying my presence. Don't let your well-being depend on your circumstances. Instead, connect your joy to my precious promises. I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. I will meet all your needs according to my glorious riches. Nothing in all creation will be able to separate you from my love. This is very true because the same way I feel about this little girl right here is how your Savior feels about you. He loves you no matter what. The first scripture I want to share with you is in Philippians 4, verse 12, which reads, I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. Being thankful in your circumstances is is wonderful. And Paul, in this book of Philippians, you know, it's it's just a testimony to me because here's a man incarcerated for his testimony telling you how to be happy, right? He's like, hey, look, man, he's, he's counting his blessings because he knows who he is. Okay, the next scripture I'd like to share with you is in Genesis 28, verse 15, which reads, And behold, I am with thee, and I will keep thee in all places whither thou goest, and I will bring thee again into this land. For I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken to thee of. So, his promises are sure. He will lead us along the ways and and he's going to go with us no matter what, no matter where we're at. Um, It's wonderful to know that no matter where we're at, the Lord is with us. And he will never forsake us. He loves you. Um... I'm going to go back to Philippians, same chapter, uh, verse 19, chapter 4, verse 19, which reads, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. He will supply all your need. I promise you that. And the next scripture comes from the book of Romans, chapter 8, which is a wonderful chapter. If you haven't read it, I recommend that you sit down today and you read Romans 8 because it's a wonderful testimony of who we are and God's love for us. The last two verses in chapter 8, 38 and 39 read, For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. I testify to you that the Lord loves you. The Lord is going to love you regardless of of your religious affiliation. The Lord is going to love you no matter what, because you are his child. There's power in that. The first great truth that I like to teach my daughters is is that they are children of God. So I sing to them a song called, I am a child of God. So that as they grow up, they realize who they are. This is the first step of of, of having a life full of peace and, and enjoying the presence of our Lord. Today, I am praying for you to have all that you stand in need of. I pray that you feel our Savior's love. And if you're struggling, if you're going through, you know, a a period of uncertainty, I pray that the Spirit um, bless you with all that you stand in need of. I love you. And I share this testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.